how to add popover to your full calendar event. Well, I'm going to start from the last video. If you don't know how to calendar to your XGS app, you can watch my previous video and follow through the video. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to use popover from Bootstrap 5. So after you have done installed Bootstrap, you can import it to your project. To add event to the calendar, I'm going to create a variable called events and passing the three property title, start and end. Title is the title of the event, start is the start date and time of the event, and end is the end that time of the event. Then I'm going to pass it to the full calendar component by passing prop events and pass variable events to it. So we will get an event called the title in here. So to add a popover to the full calendar, we have to pass a event called event did mount. So what is event did mount? If you log into full calendar document, event did mount it will call right after the element has added to the DOM. So it is the best place for us to add the popover into events. So after that, I'm going to create a new instance of the bootstrap popover by passing a property title title of the event. Placement is the position of the popover and trigger is an action of the popover. I give it hover and custom class I will explain you later why I give it and the content is the content of the popover. Control F for CL and we will get it. So as you can see there are some conflict between bootstrap file and full calendar. So to fix it, I'm add custom class popover style to add the custom style to the popover. And then I'm going to create a new file call it index.csh and set the z index of the popover to 99.99 for it to on the top of the full calendar and then i'm giving a property the color 21 25 29 to the exact same color of full calendar and then i'm import it to the project so that's it bye